Hello everyone, it's me, it's Johnny, and welcome back to the second season of SMP Video. This is episode 2, and I've done a lot of stuff off camera. As you might hear right behind me, there is... Ooh, there's cobblestone here, there are zombie noises here. I wonder what's going on. I made a mob farm. <laughs> I don't even think people have seen this yet, because actually, aside from right now, no one has been online ever since I played, so maybe I'm just playing too much here. But yeah, I made a simple zombie farm using the spawner we found last episode, off camera. And it's not working great, there are obviously some d design flaws, and probably it's like some spawning flaws, but uh, like we got a couple of chests already to be filled up with pretty much useless items. In terms of enchantments, like I did have 37 levels, but I died in the nether again. I luckily was able to get back my stuff this time, but yeah, I switched resource packs while in the nether, standing AFK, and apparently I forgot to put something gold on, so Piglin killed me and took all my stuff. Oh, he's right here. This is way too early into the episode. <laughs> Alright, cool. Um, I was still doing my intro, but I promised to give him Soul Speed 2 boots, which I also got. Um, yeah, so he has Soul Speed 2 boots now. <laughs> anyway, I guess that's kind of a good segue. I was actually planning to make like a bit for it later, but he just got to us right now. Um, I, we made a deal. I would give him like Soul Speed 2 boots and he would give me a lot of wheat so we could continue breeding up these cows, which I will going, am going to need for later in terms of item frames. As you can see, I've also set up a chicken farm, which isn't doing that great. Uh, if we get some seeds, might feed them again. Also, I expanded the farm a bit. It's not great. It's pretty bad still. Let's just do this. But it is at least, like, a bit better. It's also giving us food now, because we kind of ran out of food a bit. But in terms of progress, that's really about it for now. I haven't really done a whole lot aside from that, aside from like mining and actually finding myself a bunch of diamonds. Um, I, I'm gonna quickly go away from the cows because they have a lot of sound going on there. So basically I wasn't going to mine diamonds just yet because um, if you didn't know, I actually made a bet with Ricky Rainforest uh, about like getting a diamond if I uploaded a video at the right time. And I did, and I was going to be like, alright, my very first diamond is going to be from him. Cool, cool symbolism and stuff, and then I found diamonds while I was digging out the area for the mob farm. So then I was like, you know what, I'm gonna make this mob farm. I don't really care, we're gonna get like one diamond later. And then I just mined. But yeah, anyway, what are we going to do today, you might ask? Well, I want to make a better house. Because this isn't even what I would consider my starter house. Although, it might be. You know, originally, I had an idea for, like, the old server where I would make a cool, great house. Then, that never really happened. And then we restarted, and my idea was to make a bit of a starter house first. And then later, make the, like cool mega base I had in mind. I might still do that, I don't know, but the starter house that I designed in a test world is like very big, like it could be classified as just a normal base and I honestly might go through with that. At least I'm going to build it. And there are mobs under here because under here is a cave, I need to light that up probably. So yeah, this is what I would consider my starter house. Like. Um, for skill, this is how big I originally intended it to be. So what happened was that I originally wanted to make it like birch, but that didn't really work out. And then I tried sandstone, it didn't work out. So then I was like, okay, I'll fix it later. Then I tried acacia for the roof, which was my original idea, which also didn't work out. And then I designed this color scheme. It's a bit more like industrial it's not really birdhouse like which is what it's supposed to be a bit of a birdhouse but I liked it enough 
and then I copied it with world edit, put it on a big pole, made a little nest like area over here. And then you go up and then you enter the storage room, which is going to be a big storage room. I've tried to kind of fill stuff out, but I think I'm just going to do that on the server itself. Um, this is going to be like a lot of storage for me. And uh, that's one of the reasons why I doubt I actually need to make a bigger base after this. And if you go up here, there's just a nice little area with a little bit of a hidden bed over here. And then here is like the pool. And I'm going to put like water down there on the actual build. So you can jump down once you're ready. But the fun thing is once we have a light throw, you can actually just fly in there like we're birds, which is great. The reason why it's so big is because if I just used stone instead of like a more welcoming color like birch, it would look very unpleasant to be in. Like I tried it and we had a lot more room, but it wasn't very nice to live in. So that's why I thought of, uh, well, maybe add birch, maybe make it a bit bigger. And even though it is massive, like wow, this is big, I do like it. And then in terms of texturing, I only did like the front for like the for like the stone things and only like this side for the roof. This is going to be like they're going to be bricks on the outer side, so also on this side, which is then gradually going to turn into like polished stuff, which I should probably turn off my resource pack for because right now it doesn't really give the intended effect. I designed this without well, a resource pack on, so I might also need to do that when I'm actually building it. And the same actually goes for here, like we have polished andesite with, with cobblestone with normal andesite, then it slowly fades, slowly fades into stone bricks and then it fades into stone in the middle here. Anyway, now that I've told you kind of how I got to the starter house, the massive grind begins. I need a lot of granite, I need a lot of bricks, I need a lot of stone, I need a lot of andesite, and I already have a lot of cobblestone, so that's not going to be too big of a problem. We do have a silk touch villager at our base, so, but I think what I'm going to do first is get myself a diamond pickaxe and level 30 enchanted. I think that's the main thing we need to go right now. Because if we don't get like silk touch or anything on it, we might be able to get something else good on it. So yeah, enough rambling on. I need to first get that pickaxe and then later get a whole bunch of stone and wood. And then just start grinding this out. I am so excited for this. Anyway, I've been at the zombie grinder for a little bit and also added an extra chest. We really need this big storage system quick. Like very quick. But now um, I'm going to make a diamond pickaxe because we're going to need that. Just get it. And now we're going to enchant it and hope it's something good. Because I think it's efficiency, right? What I can get. And breaking free. I mean, that's also good. We're just gonna take a gamble. And if it's bad, I still have enough for another. <gasps> Yes! Alright, that's exactly what I wanted. That's good. I mean, it's... What up? Hello. Hello. So, um, I just thought, like, you were going to set up in a savanna, and I'm very happy to see that you're actually not in living savanna? in it. Yeah, set up in a savanna? that's why. I was walking through a savanna, and I thought, you didn't. And luckily, you didn't, actually. No, no. Anyway, um, I, I don't really want to record for very long. I'm going to cut to the chase. You lost something. You lost a bet we made I a couple have, of days. Actually, I might have lost a bet. Um, and uh, the bet was uh, in regards of uh, uploading our finale videos, right? Yes. Yes. And uh, I've just uploaded mine like an hour ago. Yes, and that's not within the time frame. Yep. So, um, so yeah, yeah. It just uh, so happens that I want to maybe start terraforming a bit, and I need a diamond shovel. And the bet well, was exactly how about, you about start terraforming with this. 
Um, well, I don't think I can accept this, even though this is a pretty nice house you have here at the moment. Way better than mine, because I still live in like a terrible village here, Alice. No, I would actually like a single diamond for my... Oh, that was uh, the bad one. That wasn't was it? the bad. Oh. It was one diamond, and I uh, yeah, looked um, at you now. This is a diamond, right? Well, I found enough of those already, I'm sorry. I've been on a big. That's a diamond, I've right? been on a. Nope. Is I've been. On, oh. uh, I'm sorry. I've been on a big oh, journey it's today. The blue ones. It's, it's the, the blue, blue ones. ones. Yes. Never mind. Here you uh, go. That's the wrong blue ones. If you give me oh. one, one wrong thing one more time, uh, and then I'm going to test out how sharp this axe is actually. Um. Yes. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I do want to retain my my no death streak on this server. So. Yes. You you're, you're probably one of the only people I died today twice again. Oh really? <laughs> well, it was, it was a nice chat. It was a nice chat, thank you so much. Um, yep. I should probably also uh, continue on and make my very own house. Um, maybe should yeah, you should at that. some point drop by, but it's probably going to take like three days to build because I may have gotten a little too excited with designing right. it and it's going to be way too big for a starter house. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I would like to see it. So yeah, well, you'll, you'll have to, you'll have to wait. I'm not going Whenever to spoil it. I'm not going to. I'm not else. going to spoil it. I'm not going to spoil it to anyone. Not yeah. not any pictures. So you should just drop by within the next week. Anyway, um, nice little starting place you have here right now. So uh, yeah. yeah, see you later. Goodbye. Go goodbye. So after a. Uh, Quite a long journey back in which I definitely didn't get lost and had to look back at older footage to find out what the coordinates were. Like, I literally have my lodestone compass right here. I should take it with me always. You go out of the way, sir. We are ready to use our diamond shovel and get silk touch on it, which I hope I'm gonna get something else with it too, but I do have 33 levels. So we have another shot if it's just silk touch. Please be efficient before I'm breaking. I'm just too lucky today. I am just too lucky today. My second tool, and it also has the same exact enchantments. Anyway, after quickly grind, grinding this book down, also get a little bit of extra XP, we're going to take the last gam gamble for today. I don't think it's gonna be anything good, but... Well, oh my god. I am never going to complain ever again. <laughs> we got, like, all the good tools. We don't... Like... We got the good... <laughs> it's late, don't add me. <laughs> we got two good tools, and then we got a third good tool right after. This project... It's gonna be like great now. Great. Anyway, time for me to grind this out, and um, I'll probably see you back when I've terraformed this and possibly already put up like the big pole thing. I don't know. Just gonna depend on how much grinding I want to do today. It's been a bit of a grind, I'm not gonna lie. I was like, I'm gonna make like a small cliff, it's going to be fine. And then I made this, oh my god. It's so big and it's not even done, like I haven't textured it at all, I haven't put water in where I want the water to be. If you can see, um, this is going to kind of, this is kind of going into the cliff side and then you have the cliff here, this is where my house is going to be on top of. And then right here, you have even more and <laughs> This is going to be the pathway actually leading up to my house. And then right over here is also a bit more cliff. So yeah, um, my plan is to fill all of this with water uh, and then just add a lot of details to it. This obviously will need some slabs, maybe some cobblestone is andersite. But we gotta do a lot more stuff um, to make this actually look completely good. Also two villagers are getting stuck in here. But I don't really feel like doing that right now. That's probably going to be a more, bit more like whenever I feel like it grinding because right now I don't really feel like terraforming a bit more because I just made this entire cliff and it took like three hours or something. I'm not the fastest builder. 
Anyway, right now, I think I'm just going to start with making the pole and probably the base platform of the, where the base is going. Also, I need to texturize it from the very start. Like in creative, I can just first make a stone brick wall and then later texturize it. That's not going to work because if I do that, I'm going to end up with like a lot of stone bricks, like too many stone bricks, which is not something that I really want at the moment. Although I do really like stone bricks. So, well, first I need to probably cut down more trees, so yeah, I'll get back to you once I've done all of that, which probably won't take three hours. I after two, maybe, maybe deaths falling down. We've actually started construction of this thing. And even though the pole itself hasn't really got any details yet, I need to add that later. Um, we have started, definitely. I've only done three sides so far because I think I should do the roof first. Because then the front side is going to be a bit bigger and it's going to be easier to also texturize that. But um, if we actually go up here, you can actually see... A bit for close-up how you can see it from afar you can already see that it looks texturized and the pole as well it has like different type of kind of logs everywhere if you go up here we are going up and as you can see right here again on the other sides we have more of the rough ones with the polished end side and the cobblestone at the end side and then in the middle we have stone bricks and stone kind of giving it a more softer look Anyway, I have been grinding out bricks at the moment because I'm going to need a lot of them for the roof. And in the meantime, I've also made a sheep farm. And I also made this pool because I may have died a couple of times, like I said. Yeah. Anyway, I've been rambling on for long enough. I just gotta continue to grind. Ooh. This actually ran out of stuff. We're running out of coal at an extremely fast pace at the moment and would you look at that after like a couple of hours of grinding and uh, a lot of pain also um, I managed to complete the outside of our little well not little quite big birdhouse base I added the chimney I added the roof and it took like way too long I'm going to keep this here for now the scaffolding for later use in here it's still very dark and barren and I think you can now understand why I decided to go for birch on the inside because even if you light all of this up nicely this doesn't look welcoming at all all this stone it's just something for the outside anyway I don't really have stairs up here so we're just using scaffolding you can see here it's the jumping plank which we use to jump all the way back down and up there if you can see it is my lodestone I placed it up there, I did the lodestone compass thing up there, and yeah, we got that at the top there, as we did in our test world. Anyway, if we jump down here, there are some other things that I must do, or well, one more thing before I go on to the next clip, and that's, look at my skin. It's almost Christmas, I've been wearing the same outfit for like a year. Even though I updated my skin uh, like a few months ago, it's still not good. We need something better, you know? I'm saying TNT Christmas Explosion. I actually prepared a hole here with TNT in it. We're going to drop the dyes in. We're going to use. And we're going to... Well, let's see if it works. Uh, let's see. Ooh, we got a little snowflake on the back. And the front here we got like a few Christmas colors and we have like an orange thing right now. This is great. And Hybrid also joined. Fantastic. Just at the right time. Just did a funny YouTube bit. Hello. Base exterior is indeed done. Does he see what what our base is? 
Where is he actually? Oh, he's right there. Yes, he got it. It's a birdhouse. <laughs> All right. Well, um, I don't know. Maybe he likes it. Maybe he doesn't. I think. I think people are going to like this. I think people on the server are going to think like, "Wow, this is great." Yes, he does. <laughs> Oh boy, this has been a grind a little bit. Like, wow. We need to actually get a lot of birch for this and I actually spent like last night um, gathering a whole lot of bone meal, gathering a whole lot of birch saplings and just bone mealing them. I actually lost all of my bones, so I used all of them up on this. And if you can see down there, I don't know if you can see it very faintly in between the two super smelter things that I made. I made an auto composter so I could turned my crops into bone meal for more birch so I, I could just make this <coughs> oh and this is big but yeah um, I think uh, right now I'm just going to get a whole lot of chests and a whole lot of uh, workstations and put them down there I actually calculated how much I need I need 13 times 6 double chests which is 156 regular chests which is, well, every, every chest is two logs, which is 312 logs we're going to need to get, which is about almost five stacks. So we're going to need to get five stacks of logs, basically. So I think I'm just going to go somewhere in the world to maybe explore a little bit again, because I really feel like exploring at the moment also. And then get a whole bunch of logs, and then also get a whole bunch of leather on the way as well because we're also going to need like 78 item frames for all of our chests because I really like item frames. So yeah, um, I think I'm going to do that right now and once I've done that huge grind and put everything down here together, I'll see you back. And I might have just gone on a big adventure instead of actually just getting a few logs. Maybe, maybe, maybe my inventory is filled with like a lot of stuff. I actually got a lot of turtle eggs, which I've never like messed around with turtle helmets and scoots and all, or however you pronounce that, I probably put you that. But what I do have is a lot of logs and I just all stored them, I realized. Uh, that's a stack. And those are the other stacks. And that's two stacks and 28 chests so let's see how much we can get from this one stack two stacks so now we need 48 more logs 26 that should be enough 27 28 all right now we have all the chests but we still need a lot of leather Right, we have enough. And it turns out for once my math was actually correct. I have the exact amount of stuff that I need and I also changed a little bit of the design. As you can see the crafting tables are now in these corners here for easy access. And instead of like having this zigzag pattern of chest which didn't work because some of these blocks are full blocks and if you put a full block above a chest you can open it, which was stupid by me. So yeah, before I actually work on this any further like I still need to do the upstairs over here and I still need to do the lighting everywhere I first want to kind of get all my items out because I have been living in hell in that little house for the last one take a look at this this is not good right so I think before I actually finish up the interior of the house we first need to do a bit of a montage where we store all of her stuff.
Well, that took about half an hour, I think. It's not perfectly organized, like in the way you would think. Like, I made kind of like a mock-up organized thing, but now I just kind of threw stuff together. Like, oh, monster parts, but then also sea stuff. Uh, trees. I still need, like, saplings for acacia, oak, and dark oak. And then here I have wood stuff, um, combat stuff tools, armor, um, terraforming stuff, and then up here I have, like, work table stuff, and then over here I have, like, iron, good food, like, valuable food, I should probably switch this out with a steak, actually. I just put this here as a placeholder, like that. Uh, uh, harvesting, animal part things, valuables. And then torches, because, yeah, I don't know. And then you have, like, everything is just... Uh, it's not perfectly organized. Obviously, I have a place for jungle over here. I didn't find a jungle, unfortunately. When we do, we can do that. Anyway, uh, here's going to be my shulker wall when I get shulker boxes. So for now, this wall is just going to be empty. And we still have so much storage left. Like, wow. Um, this is actually kind of crazy how much storage this is. <laughs> Yeah, up here it's still barren, and down there, aside from like the the basic necessities, there's no light, the carpet isn't there yet, you know, stuff like that. So, what we need to do now is we need to, well, make this place a little bit nicer. Anyways, um, for this area over here, I'm honestly going to kind of freestyle it a little bit. I'm just going to throw some stuff together, see what looks nice and what doesn't, because what I made in my testing world, that was very smart of me, was kind of like a mock-up design, it wasn't like complete finished, it wasn't something that I had completely finished yet, it was just something that kind of what the vibe of the room was going to be. And then outside we also need to put some lights over here, so this doesn't get covered in snow, because this is a, apparently a small little part that can be covered in snow. Anyway, I've been rambling on for long enough. I'm just gonna do the things I just said I was going to do. Okay. <sighs> that actually, I almost died there. <laughs> All right, let's go. In. Hello. Hello. Not much has changed here, I see. Yes, I've built many things. Oh, I okay. <laughs> well, I have also uh, I have also built uh, things. And, uh, really? Yes. I did not expect that. I have oh. been. Uh, That's made... why I've been telling my people about this tour you you will be giving me. Yes, uh, that's yes, same to you me. You haven't built anything new. You're probably the only active member like that isn't very close to us, and yeah. is has been playing in the last couple of days. So you're probably the only one who hasn't seen any progress on it. And you're probably also All the right. first person... Well, not probably. You're the first person to see when it's complete. Because I've been grinding this out since yesterday morning. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm intrigued. So yeah, um, maybe I've no life a little bit. I can uh, just tell you that. Yeah, honey. I do. Okay. All right. So uh, if you uh, look uh, uh, that way, you see where my entire two days have gone to. Behind the tree. What the fuck is that? <laughs> well, um, well, what is it? What what does it look like? Uh, a, a bird cage. A bird bird, cage. bird house. Bird. Yes. Bird. Yeah, I've been working on this. <laughs> <laughs> I've been working on this since yesterday morning. I may. Why is this your starter house? So I was thinking, like, you remember when I, that I when I made like a tree house yep. at one point? Well, I used to always make tree houses, and I really wanted to make something similar, but I didn't just want to make a tree house. So then, what if I I thought, what if I took the tree part away, and then I thought, what if I just make a bird house? 
god, dude, you guys have so much more shit than yeah. us. Yeah, uh, I can give you a whole tour of the place in a second if you want. Yeah, not fun. just not just yeah. us because uh, Netuber has all this also. This is the police station. Yeah, this used to be my house. It used to be filled with six different double chests and like multiple different furnaces. So I'm really happy. There, there's no. Are you the only police officer here? Uh, well, that's a storyline for later. <laughs> right. We were like, I, I put this up in like, for, for some reason I just put it up. It was like, hey, funny, but we had been recording for like two and a half hours already. Oh yeah, you take some of those. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is our I not, this is couple. our warning, not a community enchantment table, enchantment table. Community enchantment. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, it had like a fortune two enchantment, and I have level Good. seven, so that wasn't gonna work anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, this is just base. This tour is basically. Ow. Oh, this tour is basically going to be me flexing on all the stuff we already have. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so we have a lot of. Uh, villages over here. We're going to do uh, villagers over here still. That's good. Uh, this is our yeah. portal. First, going to uh, Nyatuber's house, which is this. He made this this morning. Wow, I... that is. No, you have to disgusting. go. You have to go down. Oh. <laughs> so this is. Why is it? His house. Why is there a? Oh, uh, because a... that's a different entrance. Why does he always have secret entrances in this Oh yeah, base? this isn't this original base. This original base is like, buy two torches over here. Is this that... eventually where you'll be settling or just... I honestly have no idea. Even though I have like some short-term plans of what I want to do in the follow yeah. upcoming episodes, I have no idea what I'm gonna do the entire season. And honestly, right. I don't want to know. Because last, last season, I made like an entire bucket, a wash list of things that I should do. Yeah. And then that really demotivates me to play. So then I, this this time I'm just like, I'm just gonna build stupid shit. Uh, yeah, this is my place. This used to be like a regular mountain, but I uh, kind of terraformed it. But it's a work in uh, progress still. Yeah, make this like a path, please. Yeah, this is gonna be a path. But uh, like, yeah. I, I first wanted to make the base because I didn't want to have all my items in like five double chests. Anyway, uh, this is how you enter then. Oh, you can't go down, I you, guess? No, or... it's... I'll explain it to you in a second. And this is my storage. Oh, yeah, typical starter storage, I yes, see. Yes, very starter, not uh, not at all, uh, not at all big base uh, yeah. at all. Anyway, yeah, you can go up the ladder, and there's just a nice little area here. Alright, this looks pretty cool. So, it is designed with Elytra in mind, right? You Like, you can land and fly off from here. And once you land over here, watch out. I'll explain to you how you get down without the lighter in a second. Right. Like, let's say you fly in here, you can immediately fly into the hole, get into the water, get some items, and then you can fly back out again. That's kind of the idea. Oh, right. I'm, I'm gonna so, be, I'm gonna become a bird. <laughs> yeah, but I wouldn't say Elytra is a realistic achievement in the coming week or something. Are you sh <laughs> okay, so um, but that, that's that's that's, that's, that's maybe me, for you. That's know. maybe for you, but because actually in episode four I want to get like netherite and elytra and stuff, and I'm at episode two now. So next right. time, <laughs> yeah, uh, I play uh, I play maybe I guess a bit differently. I'm a little bit of a slower player than you. Well, that doesn't I... matter. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just fo I've been just been focusing on expanding my little house thing. Yeah, well, that's, that's fine. I, I, you enjoy the, play, the way you play the game with your own oh, way. Oh, definitely, yeah. And that, that's fine. I just really want to get Elytra because I love Elytra. <laughs> yeah, Elytra are fucking useful. But... Anyway, uh, that's about it. I need to get Fortune 3. And yeah, I, I don't have dying, Fortune 3 yet. Get... I do have if Silk dying, Touch. I'm not going to get Fortune 3 any anytime yeah. soon. Oh yeah, that's one more thing I want to show you. First of all, uh, let's... Uh, you, there's just a river down here, so you just jump. jump. Well, all right. I have maybe uh, probably the worst XP farm ever, but I do have an XP farm, and maybe I'll because you're like on your way to get XP and stuff. I may let let you use it. That will be fine. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I won't. 
you let you use our enchantment table because we strictly made it a non-community yeah, enchantment I table. I almost have my own anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, I've been like uh, oh, getting a whole lot of granite from here. I've been getting a whole lot of granite from here. I need to oh, clean it the, up. The masons, yeah. No, not the. Uh, oh, yeah. What? Right, so you just go here and go down here, and now you wait for zombies to spawn. You put it on peaceful or something, I don't see any zombies. What? Why isn't it spawning? Yeah. There's like a zombie spawner right there. Oh, there they are. What? There's a zombie spawner. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, that it like lagged out. Yeah, you lagged out for me too. And all of a sudden they all, they all <laughs> spawn in front of me. <laughs> Here you go. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, we remember that zombie spawn where I found day one, I made it into a very inefficient uh, and terrible farm. Right. <laughs> It'll take a long time to get to level 30, but like... Oh my god, if you scared the shit out of me, dude. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if you want to use this, uh, I'll be fine with it. Since yeah, you're like... Right. It's just... It's not a good farm. Yeah. <laughs> it's just very basic starter. Could have even just, you know... Made like water streams and stuff. That would have been. That's true, but I w it was like a it was like a late at night day one, and I was and like I actually make like a kill chamber. Yeah. Because right now it's just. Ooh, uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to improve it because I don't know how many times I'm going to use this farm after like episode five. Mm. I could renovate it for you at some point. Uh, if you want, I mean. If you want to, then it would be I would be grateful. I like making these farm things, so yeah. Well, if you make it better, you yeah. can use it forever. Is that a good deal? Right. That, that's that sounds like a deal. All right, because so far only me and Yachu Renel can use it, and he hasn't used it yet because I don't even think he knows this exists. Because he's not been online. No. He has not been online very much. Wow. It's basically just been me, you, and Highbot, but mostly me. <laughs> Yeah. I'm just gonna terraform that cliff now, I think, off camera. <laughs> Alright. In, well, in between episodes. <laughs> I'm gonna continue with my thing, so... Uh... Yeah, well, you, uh, good luck with your stuff then. Thank you. Um, I will see you uh, later. whenever we meet again. Yeah, I'm gonna Bye. put my armor back on. Goodbye.